Alright guys, it's Garn360 here, showing you how to get 720p widescreen on the K-World Gaming Maker GM220. There's the picture of it on the box, flip the box on the side, there's some lovely writing, lovely pictures, that's the box. Nothing in the box, well there is, but that's probably just packaging, but anyway, to the main thing. On the Xbox, we'll go to that because it's a bit dark over there at the moment. You have to be put your settings to system, console settings, display, HD TV settings to 720p. And then it'll be 720p widescreen component HD. And then that is all you need to do. The only way you can get it through that is by using these cables. That is how you get the HD in 720p. You won't be able to get it if you're just using those three, which is the white, red and yellow. But I'm using this. This is set up for the Xbox. There's the cables that go into the TV. And there's the Xbox ones and they are the PS3 ones. So all I have to do to go on PS3 is switch them with them, and then we got the USB which can... There is S-Video, I have not used that, don't know what that's like, so can't really tell you much. But as you've got the box set up like this, you'll be able to put the settings on there to 720p. And that is all. If you've got it then connected to your PC via the USB slot, then you are good to go. So, this is Garnet360 and you will be passed on to me on the screen capture. So, goodbye. Alright guys, this is me here showing you the settings on the PowerDirector program which came with the K-World. The settings that I use to get 720p widescreen quality. So, here we go. First, you load it up. It's going to load up on edit. Then, you go on to capture and click on this one here. It says capture from a TV signal to bring it onto this screen here. You might not have this come up straight away, but we will show you how to get it up now. First you go on settings and choose the capture device, USB 28480p device. And then the capture source is video serial digital. So out of all these, depending what you're using, if you're using this you have to be using the same setup of which I showed you previously. Otherwise, you might need to use composite if you're using just the red, white, and yellow. But as I'm using the component, you use serial digital. And you wait for that to load, and then that loads up, and then you should see the screen. And then line. USB capture device is what you want the audio to be. That will capture the sound in game. And then the mixer is where you can set which he like which mics you want to use if it's the internal or external mic. Then you cancel that. And then adjust video this is where you change all your colors brightness everything like that you just have a play around with this because I already I don't necessarily keep them like this it varies on games depending if they're dark or light or the maps like Call of Duty like some maps are darker than others you might want to turn the brightness up and then so you just have a play around with that, but then you go on TV setup. This is where you have to choose on the format is NTSC and then any of these that suit seem to do 
you good. Like NTSC MJ is what I'm currently using, but I don't seem to notice any difference between NTSC MJ or NTSC M or even NTSC 433. But none of the PALs will work, and but the NT one is only for Xbox, I believe, because it comes out of a strange, like, zoomed ratio, like it doesn't come out right, the picture, so you, I have to put it onto a C-cam, um, I'm not too sure which one it is, I think it's C-cam L1, or it's something like one of these, so, uh, bottom three, of uh, I have to use on the PlayStation 3 to record. So just have a play around with that. One of them will work though. Just try them all out, see which one looks the best. Okay, and then click OK on that. And then you go to Profile, Edit, Video. You can give it, and I believe you can rename it. Um, add a description if you really want to, but not necessary. And then you go to video at the top. Resolution, have it at 1280 by 720, which is 720p. There is others which aren't uh, HD, but then there is 1080i, which is a lot, I don't know about better, but it is good. And if you can get that one to work, that is good. But at the moment, I can only get that one to work with the PlayStation 3, as it drops too many frames on the Xbox. Don't know the reason for this, but the Jet video I put up was using 1080i, and it does look good, and had no drop frames, as you can tell, as it recorded really well. But then I've tried recording COD on the Xbox and that just drops so many frames it's unwatchable. So that's why I haven't uploaded any of them. And then you have then you go to rate control. Mode is C V B R and then average bitrate is eight thousand. That is default. So you shouldn't you don't have to change that. And then you go to maximum bitrate which I have changed to 10,000 from 8,000 just to give it that little extra edge as I know my computer can handle that and then I go to advanced smoothing I have not ticked this box but you can if you want but I haven't noticed any difference with or without that but I have ticked noise removal um, the frame type is top field first, speed slash quality indicator is 7 which is the highest quality. And then once you're done on that page, go to audio, MPEG audio, stereo, and then I've got it on audio compression rate at 384 kilobytes per second. Now you click OK on that, OK again, and then there you go, you should be ready to go the way you just hit record and then it will start recording tells you you dropped frames here how much you've used, how much t like memory you've used up with the clip how much you got free, how much you've used and a timer does come up here and that tells you how long you can record for once you've got a clip you go to edit and then you import import media files and then it'll come up here I've already got one one here and then you drag it off into here and then you will be able to watch it from here but then you need to go to the very top the menu the chair at the top left go edit and then down to the bottom it says aspect ratio that must be on 16 by 9 then you go off that and right click on this clip go 
set aspect ratio it will be on detect aspect ratio automatically which it automatically selects 4, point, 4 by 3 so you need to click the aspect ratio of the video is 16 by 9 so you click that and then hit OK you'll then see that this is now in 16 by 9 instead of 4 by 3 which will cut off the little sides which will be full of just black and then you can trim all these tools, all these effects. You can add these in, text, transitions, all that good stuff. And then once you've done editing, you go produce file MPEG2 profile is all profile names slash quality. You have it on. HDV MPEG 2 720p and then country slash video format of disk is NTSC and have it on fast video rendering technology SVRT do not enable the preview during production as that slows it down while rendering and that is it. You just click start. It'll start rendering. This will disappear. It'll come up as rendering. The loading bar will be there. And then you just go into wherever this is set to. This is where you put in it. This is the name. It, it obviously gives it a default name which is produce. And then yours might be whatever number. But uh, mine's free at the moment. And then mine's going you can change the location here find where you want it to go um and that is it really when you click start then you're good to go so that has been the tutorial of how to get your quality in 720p with the k world gaming maker and I hope this has helped. If you have any other questions that you want to be answered, then sure, just drop them in the comments below, and I will answer them. If there's an loads of questions being asked, then I will happily produce another video answering them. And so, that is it. Peace out, guys.